You're now live. I'm now live. <laughs> Hello. You'll be able to see the little numbers and people join and stuff like that. Yeah. Hello. So, greetings, peoples. Um, I am actually not going to be able to see my screen today. So, we will be having the fabulous uh, rain girl reading off whatever is on the screen so that it can be in the replay. And today I have one of Rain's cups. We have the Little Mermaid. Um, so I am going to be doing a Dazzle Dry uh, basic manicure while um, we're on today's show because, well, basically I figured you guys need to see some Dazzle Dry. But so I'm going to Hello. take the lovely Stephanie's hands. Hello. Who's not camera ready? You're not on the camera. I was like, we're looking at your hands. We're looking like at your hands, not. All right. So we got a couple of shorties here. Yeah, they broke at work. That's all right. You're forgiven. So here's my little box that says sanitized and disinfected. <laughs> and... Because I am on site, not in my little nook corner of the world. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to find this. And my files, this is a um, 18400 grit individually wrapped file from uh, the industry source. And they're $14.99 for a 50 pack. So that's pretty fancy schmancy cool. So... The cool thing about um, doing this basic manicure like this is that um, you basically file, shape, cuticle oil, and lotion. Yes, we also have animals in the house today, so you'll hear the random yip, bark, growl, whatever. Um, I can get the shaping down and put uh, the cuticle softener on and lotion and then we go into a baggie and a heated mitt and then I'm working on the other hand while that's going on and so that way there is well, we shorten this guy down there is um, one hand working on softening while you're working on the other hand and that saves time so you should be able to get a manicure done like this in a half an hour um, especially using Dazzle Dry. And it's really cool because Dazzle Dry, since it dries all the way through in five minutes, um, by the time your guest has rebooked and paid and everything, like they're totally dry. So that's rad. That's rad. So how's everybody doing out there today? We have any commentary from the people, Rain? Not a whole lot. Seems Are they giving us hearts? Are they inviting followers? All of those things that they decided yesterday they're supposed to be doing? It must be a busy Thursday. I see some hearts over there. <laughs> must be, or I guess it's Wednesday and it's a busy Wednesday. It it's Wednesday. midweek. Everybody's been procrastinating. Got to catch up before the end, right? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's what I'm doing. Have you seen the new shelter billboard with Ariel on it? No. It's um, on my w way coming back from work next to that storage place. And it's Ariel holding a cat and it says, make a shelter pet a part of your world. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> so cute. So I can't tell you what product I am using for cuticle remover and lotion because it's secret. But secret I can squirrel. tell you that it's amazing. Ooh. Back here. Mid. Okay. I'll slide on it. There we go. Ooh. Thank Hello. you for inviting your followers. I see you there. <laughs> I see you there in the corner. Yeah, I uh I know everybody's names, but Rain doesn't know everybody's names. Well, I guess I don't know everybody's names. But yeah, we, uh, if you haven't had a chance to get on the Facebook page for Nails Over Coffee and look at the comments from yesterday's show, we got some commentary um, from the fabulous nail liberty Elaine Watson uh, on the couple of times I brought her up on the show yesterday. So 
go uh, hop on there and hear what Elaine had to say. Or see, I guess I should say, what Elaine had to say. I'm shortening here. Sorry. Longer ones to, so that it's not quite so dramatic of a difference between the long ones and the shorter ones. But not quite as short. So we were going through the debate of which polish color to put on. Are you getting any closer to making a decision, Miss Stephanie? <laughs> I know I want the, the teal one, but I like the teal yes, one. So go with the teal. Peer yeah. pressure. Peer yeah, pressure. Yeah, pressure. But we'll give you a sparkly, pretty accent nail. Pink, sparkly, shimmery. We could do that, and then we could put the holographic, shimmery, glittery stuff over it, and then cool. it would be super sparkly and but still have your pretty pink base. Mama Bear knows best. Oh, I like to think so, but I'm sure I have a hub love at home who would disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Meh. But it wouldn't be fun if he agreed with you all the time. No <laughs> well, that's a fact. <laughs> it would, however, be fun if he agreed with me some of the time. <laughs> that, that is true. <laughs> the story of my life. <laughs> My life in a nutshell. So yeah, I feel like we're having a nail party here today on Nails Over Coffee. Unfortunately, the entire Dazzle Dry team is on their way flying back from the uh, international spa show, beauty show in New York this last weekend. So I don't think we're going to have any Dazzle Dry people live because they are on an airplane. <laughs> So leaving on a jet plane. Yep. Don't know when I'll be back again. Yep. They mm -hmm. don't know when they'll be back to Chandler, Arizona again. Well, I'm sure we'll be in a couple hours, but <laughs> so they'll be watching on replay also. So I am not a dazzle dry educator or any of that stuff for those of you who aren't my regulars. So you don't know, uh, but I do use dazzle dry in the salon. I really, um, what we were talking about yesterday in terms of um, in terms of long no wear Lay down. high shine polishes that are um, small manufacturers not owned by Revlon or whoever or whatever um, Dazzle Dry is one of those so I thought it would be an appropriate time to answer a question yes can uh, Dazzle Dry be gotten in Canada. Can you get Dazzle Dry in Canada? Yes, I believe you can. Um, I know that it's just now gotten um, approval or getting approval from uh, the European Union, so it'll be available um, in the EU soon, but I'm pretty sure all of North America is available. Cool. Now we know. And so Dazzle Dry is one of those things that you guys know that, you know, I'm a systems girl, I say that all the time, but um, that Dazzle Dry is one of those things that within the polish system itself, you have to use the whole system. Coffee pause. <laughs> So JMC Studio Nails wants to know uh, what you are doing on Miss Stephanie here. I am currently now using my Antoine cuticle pusher to remove the cuticle, the true cuticle from the nail plate and pushing back the epinicium and making sure that all of this, I work at Chipotle <laughs> stuff is out from under her nails because Chipotle is good, but not for a manicure. <laughs> um, so basically the first thing I did was for those people who joined late also, first thing I did was put a cuticle softener on uh, Miss Stephanie's, you know, cuticle area and then put lotion on her hand and then a a baggie and a heated mitt to kind of warm everything up there that way it's waterless but it still soaks everything up um, and did that on one hand and went into the bag and the mitt and then while that was heating did the filing 
and um, product application on the other hand. So now it's doing its thing while I'm back here pushing cuticle. And as you can see, this is just lifting cuticle right off. So I don't have to nip anything, although I say that I might have to nip that, but. Um, and I've got my little, I don't know if this thing has a name, but I can never remember it. <laughs> the little scoopy thing on the other end. Scoopy thing. Yeah, that's a technical term. I really do know it has, curette. That's it, I was like, I, I really do know it has a name. <laughs> All right, so we are going to do that, and then I'm going to find another container of my nameless product. Super secret squirrel product? Yes. You mentioned it was hard to take off veneer. How much longer than shellac would you say it takes? Um, it takes probably two or three minutes to with a 180 grit file to break the shine and break the seal on the end of the nail. Um, and then probably an extra two minutes to soak off. So where my shellac hole removal process is um, generally only eight minutes tops, it probably takes the whole like 12 to 15 minutes I've booked extra to remove veneer. Good questions. Epic hand massage. <laughs> Do they teach you that in nail school? They're supposed to. <laughs> Doesn't really feels good to. after closing. <laughs> Banging my hand against the register fit register fifty times. All right, and then mitts go away. Goodbye, mittens. Goodbye. Goodbye, mitts. Ooh, my nails are dirty. Yes, they are. <laughs> Do you apply gel polish first before this process? If I was doing gel polish, yes. I Well, my gel polish process is, a, is done a little differently. For my gel polish, I do all of the uh, cuticle work, but I do it with um, a... Um, with cuticle away from CND and um, clean off the nail plate with water and all of that before um, I do the application, but I don't do any kind of lotion, um, oil-based anything before I do the gel polish application. Um, so I do actually quite a bit different of a process um, when I'm doing a gel polish manicure. When I'm doing a gel polish manicure, a lot of times I do the gel polish and then I um, do exfoliating scrub if their hands need it um, for the lotion to work and then I do the hand massage at the end when it's all done because you don't really need the heat. Um, by that time because the heat is more to soften everything up and so if you do a scrub um, before the you know do the massage at the very end and the gel polish is already done then you don't really there's not really anything left to do what's going on there stickiness yeah i was like it's bandage adhesive what is the difference between regular cuticle remover and cuticle away from cnd and do you use do you use cuticle away before every gel polish? Yes, I do use cuticle away before every gel polish. And cuticle away is not oil emollient based. It is a chemical skin softener, um, sodium hydroxide. I think been a long time since I've had to answer that question for anybody um <laughs> but uh so it's a chemical based skin softener and it works until you apply water so it has to be deactivated by water so um I do use cuticle away um as my primary cuticle remover on everything I am using my super secret squirrel product um cuticle remover this time and I gotta tell you it worked surprisingly well 
um, for being an emollient based cuticle remover. So that was pretty cool. But yes, I do all of the nail plate prep work before I apply gel polish. Did I answer all the questions? I think so. <laughs> I think the okay. question was regular cuticle remover and cuticle away. Oh, the difference or two. Yeah, the well, I did. Yeah. I answered that. Fashion, uh -huh. not fashion. Beauty question. What lipstick are you wearing? Um, <laughs> I am wearing a Color Stay lipstick in a color that I have no idea what the name of it is. Um, but I can look after we're done. <laughs> because I've seen you lick your lips, bite your lips, and it hasn't come off. Yes, because it is the most epic nail tech proof lipstick ever. It stays on pretty much until you take it off or the next day. <laughs> and it stays on like in the water and all that kind of stuff. So since I have permanent eyeliner, if I have lash extensions on um, and I put on tinted moisturizer <laughs> and this lipstick, I can literally go swimming and still have like a face of makeup. So cool. <laughs> I don't have lash extensions on right now though. There's setting spray that can do that too. Yeah. By Urban Decay. I am so, everybody who's viewing this episode knows that I basically put makeup on for them. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, the rest of the time, if I could, like I love how makeup looks. I don't even mind how it feels. I hate putting it on and taking it off. Like if I could just put it on and leave it on forever, that would be great. So, I hate taking it off. I love putting it on. Yeah, like, see, I don't... I have just way too many other things, like, in life I would rather be doing than... So, JNC Studio Nails says, are you sure that you didn't put on nail polish for lipstick? <laughs> <laughs> no. Jade, I did not. <laughs> Funny girl. Ah, you fun girl. <laughs> Rain Victoria. What? I'm sure she's quite fun. <laughs> yes, she is quite fun. All right, so now we've done all of that. So I am going to find my stuff here. And I'm sorry for those of you who are watching. I'm trying not to give you seasickness from moving the camera. Um, so under normal circumstances, I would be scrubbing off her nails with a brush right now, but I realized that I didn't bring a brush with me. So we're going to improvise. See, this is the thing I say all the time, people, about practice does not make perfect. Practice is about increasing your repertoire of ways to cover your mistakes. That's what I'm doing right now. Um, so I'm just going to use um, a acetone-based polish remover that smells lovely like peach to remove the bulk of the oil from the nail plate. Whereas normally I would be scrubbing this with water because since I'm not using cuticle away, I did not think about bringing all of my brush and soapy water and all of that. So, my bad. That needs to go away. Um, Don't mind the wandering individual. <laughs> and the dog, the nosy dog. Yeah, my nosy <laughs> little Malamute. All Nothing right. here is for you, Alpha. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to use You're my no. Dazzle Dry nail. <laughs> <laughs> and we just had a cat fall into the blinds. <laughs> it really is like a zoo here. And Yoka, I just lost a life. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay, so okay. I. My Dazzle Dry nail prep that my bottle is squirting all over the place. And so I'm using a plastic backed pad. And I'm going to make sure to get all around here, down into the corners. So stating for the record again, I am using Dazzle Dry, um, Fast Dry nail polish, and I am not a manufacturer educator for Dazzle Dry. <laughs> so this is a polish that I actually use in my business because I love it. And... I love supporting nail, small, awesomeness companies. 
small awesomeness companies. Okay, so now for manufacturer's instructions for, uh, don't follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Your Dazzle Dry base coat is supposed to be clear. Mine was not, so it had to be warmer. And we'll just leave it at that. Um, so you need to put on two coats. Coffee break? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I love how this lotion smells. Um, you need to put on two coats of Dazzle Dry base coat to get the maximum wear and adhesion. So we will be doing that. So, how is everybody out there in nail land doing today? Nails over coffee. You guys drinking coffee? I'm drinking coffee. I have no idea what kind of coffee I'm drinking because Rain Girl made it for me, but it tastes lovely. I believe it is Italian <laughs> roast from World Market. Ah. Oh, I feel so designer. You I are very good at talking and working without losing time. Many texts slow down. Yes. Hashtag time management. Yes. <laughs> that must have been Jade again. I believe so. JNC studio. Maybe. I don't oh. know. It was a different color this time. Oh, well, maybe. Um, yes, I, um, that is a process that I used to not be very good at. Okay. Well, I was only sort of good at until I worked at the spa I worked at. And then when you work in a place where somebody else is booking your appointments, so you don't know if while you've been doing this appointment, another appointment is sitting out there waiting because it's been booked. So you have to treat every appointment like your next one is waiting. And that keeps you on schedule. Now, if you're doing your own time, you know, you know you don't have anybody afterwards, you can, you know, slow down a little bit. But this is a amazing manicure to do when somebody is on a lunch break. This is a great manicure to do during the 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. happy hour of manicures um, type time because it's a basic manicure that gets everything done that needs to be done and they're going to be dry and out the door and on their way back to work um, quickly. So you should be able to do this manicure pretty comfortably in a half an hour. All right, so there was base coat. And now we are going to be using Casablanca. That was this one, right? Yes. And Rosebud for an accent nail. So there's Rosebud, Casablanca, kind of matches the Ariel cup. Exactly. It's kind of fun. Not planned. Not planned. <laughs> So the cool thing about Dazzle Dry is that it dries just about as fast as you can get it on. And make sure, now remember, you pushed the epinicium back. So you have enough room to leave a good, you know, one thirty second of an inch, you know, couple of millimeter or so um, away from the cuticle because it's all pushed back right now and in the next hour or so it's going to relax and then you won't be able to see that margin anymore but that's how you get that perfect line is you push the cuticle back oh, this is pretty this cat. Which one is that? I can't see. I'm working. Is he okay? Oh, he keeps it's the house panther. Yeah, the house panther. He keeps jumping to the back of the chair. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite entertaining. Because sometimes he just gets pushed off. <laughs> <laughs> so this Dazzle Dry brush is a great shape um, for placing the nail the brush right back at the cuticle giving it a little push and then using the side of the brush so i know that 
Um, in nail school, we're taught side, side, center. Um, I do it the opposite way, personal preference, I think, but I like getting that one stroke of polish right down the middle with a nice rounded cuticle area and then pulling down the side and pulling down the side. Oh, this color is so fun. I have too many things to try. I'm gonna be using poly polish on my toes and so, and suspension gel on my nails. So I don't have any, any of my own canvas room for wearing this color just yet. Jade said she also does the reverse of polish. Yay, I feel so good for not being alone out here in polish land. And the other thing is, is that, and I do this when I'm doing an accent nail on a gel um, polish as well. Um, as long as I already have the bottle in my hand, so a lot of times when I switch from one hand to the other, I do the accent nail back to back um, because I already have the bottle in my hand, so it's one less thing to put down, pick up. One less step. Yes. Now, I don't know if the lighting's good enough in here to zoom in rain, but um, you can see that Stephanie's other hand that I just polished is already matte um, from being dry. That's how quickly this polish dries. And um, Dazzle Dry is vegan and um, of course, cruelty free, because um, I can't imagine Dr. Vivian testing on animals. And um, it is, so we get this whole thing going of, um, you know, three free, five free, seven free, nine free. And uh, I think we should just start putting, like, as a joke, put uh, an old polished bottle with water and food coloring in it mm -hmm. and say it's totally free. <laughs> um, but, uh, this polish is, I believe, seven free, eight, I don't know, nine. I don't even know what that means. Um, it has none of a bunch of different chemicals that some people have developed sensitivities to, yeah. and some people have no sensitivities to, but the media has made them think that they're bad, so they now as a marketing counteract have. It's free of stuff. Yes. So um, I, um, I just like it because I know that I'm not gonna have any, it doesn't have um, a lot of the same hardeners that uh, some of the other brands do. And so I love the fact that even if somebody's had an allergic reaction in the past with a polish, they probably won't have a reaction to Dazzle Dry. And, um, and then we're going to put Diamond. Is this shiny, shiny? Yes, on the accent nail here. Um, with my very greasy hands. Um, and so, I just, I, I like knowing that it not only does it dry really fast, but I can know that it's not going to give anybody any boo-boos. Some people have developed sensitivities to like formaldehyde resin. So even if it's formaldehyde free, um, so to speak, it can still have formaldehyde resin in it. And this does not along with a whole gaggle of other things it doesn't have. I like that it's vegan. There were no cows, chickens, whatever, mm, pigs harmed in mean. the process of <laughs> making, making this polish. <laughs> All right, and then Dazzle Dry top coat. So two coats of base coat, two coats of color. Well, the accent nail has four coats because it has two coats of diamond on it. And then Top coat and like I said it's you know the instructions say to let it dry um, before applying the top coat 
And as you can see, if you're going through and doing all 10, it is basically dry by the time you get back to it. Can you make the Pinterest ball with your left hand? The Pinterest yeah. claw. There you go. Already so that's dry. before top coat, yes. And you so. Right over now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So yes, hats off to Stephanie for being a, a good patient guest here, who's just letting me just chug right along and broadcast her manicure. Yeah, you're fine. So I'm skipping over the accent nail for right now because I that just put those two coats of diamond on it, so I'm giving it some extra time to dry while I'm doing the rest of the nails. And I love the shape of these bottles. Please, 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 Dazzle Dry amazing people do not change the shape of the Dazzle Dry bottles. The bottle is perfect for fitting in your hand. The top is perfect for holding. The brush is perfect. No reason, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. No reason to mess with perfection. And now five minutes and we will be totally dry. Ta-da! Okay, so I'm going to drink coffee and sign off with you guys. Um, so, oh, I feel like we have the Club MTV view going on now. Did that age me by saying that? Maybe have, just a little bit. Um, <laughs> Got some hearts going on. <laughs> right? Well, yeah, because that was, okay, you guys are too young to remember, but when MTV still played music, um, they used to have, like, it was like American Bandstand, but it was MTV, and then they would have people dancing, and they always had the camera on the, <laughs> are you making everybody seasick? Right? I'm sorry. Um, they had the camera, like, mounted on the floor, so they were like, so it was the up shot was the Club MTV view. Anyway. I remember Club Bit MTV with Downtown Julie Brown. Downtown Julie Brown, hell yeah. You know, when I actually first started the concept for this show, uh, I, I was modeling it after Martha Quinn, um, who was one of the first MTV VJs who used to eat lunch during her segment on MTV every mm. day. Her soup, her bowl of soup. Anyway, so we're going to put Ariel down, but um, bowl let's of see what, uh, yeah, bowl <laughs> of coffee. Um, so if, is there any questions that I can answer about products I used? I have some questions I can't answer. Um, and I'm just keeping up on what's going on um, for the rest of this week. It's Wednesday, right? So tomorrow's Nail Tech Hump Day. Um... <laughs> Well, yeah, because nail techs work Tuesday through Saturday. So Wednesday isn't our hump day. Thursday is. So, um, mom, 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 what day is it? <laughs> hump day? Day? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just kind of keeping an eye out on everything that's going on, um, on all of the groups and oh, that amazing sparkly glitter that I found. Um, I found where to buy it from. It comes from Germany. And so I'm going to buy some of that, um, get it imported in, and then we'll put it up in the University of Nail store. Uh, one more question about veneer. Um, can you use it with a CND LED lamp? I know you should use the lamp that's designed for it. <laughs> <laughs> right? I was like, thank you for qualifying that question for me. Um, I would recommend that you use the veneer lamp. That being said, as long as my client has proper finger placement in the CND lamp, so it's right under, anybody who's used a CND lamp, my daughter gave me a weird look. Anybody mm -hmm. who's used a CND lamp knows what I mean. Um, it's very targeted light. So as long as you get right finger placement, it appears to cure properly. I haven't had any service breakdown issues. Um, I can uh, remove the inhibition layer and not take any color off uh, to do nail art work on, so it appears to be properly curing. Um, but of course, that is use at your own risk. But I do use it with a CND LED lamp in my studio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See there, now you just made the entire manufacturer world hate me. So <laughs> not cool. So that not face. cool. 
Anywho. Hello, house yes, family. apparently uh, Elaine Watson found great entertainment yesterday from my witch sucks uh, <laughs> over and over again. So, all right. Well, we are probably yeah, getting close to okay. Stephanie's nails being dry here. So just so that you guys can see what we've got going on here. So you don't want to put anything on Dazzle Dry before it's all the way dry. No cuticle oil, no fast dry spray, no none of that because it works as a system. And so see, we're dry. <laughs> we have a house panther. We have... Uh, apparently, uh, the house panther wants <laughs> nails done because I just got clawed. <laughs> so, yeah. So, oh. see, we're dry. And so, now is when I'm going to put on some Dazzle Dry nail and cuticle oil because we are all the way dry. This is the old bottle, of course, as previously discussed on Nails Over Coffee. The new bottle and packaging is coming to me via FedEx any Ow. minute now. Can you stop smacking me with your tail? That was so cool, Yokai. I could have totally, I have the little, I have tip cutters. I could totally give you a kitty nail trim. Oh, the viewers got to see it. <laughs> Did they? I, I peered over. <laughs> nice. To see his claws on the table. <laughs> so there like we go. We'll put some Dazzle Dry nail and cuticle conditioning oil on here. And then, all right, Stephanie, you can turn over and give two Pinterest claws. There you go. And there is the finished product of the Dazzle Dry manicure. Ta-da! All right, hearts, yay, hearts. Beautiful. All right, well, I have taken the um, rain now, so all right, there I am. All right, everybody. Well, I am going to get out of here now that I'm done with my manicure and I will be sitting here living on social media to bring you whatever else new and cool and awesome is going on tomorrow. So thanks for joining in with me, everybody. Bye. Ariel says bye. Everybody say goodbye.